I'm back. Monday Blues, take two. Got my light set up. I think this is much, much better. So, um, let me give a couple of you just a second to get on and we will get going. Sorry about the last one, it was bothering me. I just had to end it and start over. Can't do it. Um, let me grab some swatches. I wanna do a gradient. Now, on the last one, I just kind of dipped the new releases and put them together with Majestic Blue. Did a little bit of filing. Got that on there. So, awesome. You guys are back on. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Kim. Thank you guys for hanging around and getting back on. Um, okay, so this was done in the last video. Tracy, you need these blues, baby. Um, I know you're a blue girl and these are, these are gorgeous, but don't forget about, um, the beautiful Mother's Day collection. I know I released it and then came out with these blues, but, um, you can never have too many colors, right? Oh, look how good this looks. This looks good. Look, look at my nails with my cup. Mm. I definitely need coffee today. So, if we were to do a blue gradient, um, it would really be good if I used those crown, those crown swatches, but those just are not my favorite because they cannot dip. Um, actually, Hunter, will you get me some? I think it'll be best for everybody to see together. They're in that pink box. One of those, yep. Um, let's face it, we all need, we need all, you do need all the colors. Thanks, Carla, for hopping back on. Um, hey, Tiff. Okay, we're going to get the, uh, Hunter's getting me the crown swatches so we can put all the blues, yeah, yeah, I don't care, all together um, so that we can kind of compare them all. And maybe do like a gradient. Thank you, love. So, let's grab. My table is full. I know it doesn't look full right here, but I don't have a spot for anything else. Um, let's do. I have the three blues in front of me. Then. Um, we need Midnight Sky and, and what, Periwinkle and Jazz Blue is pretty too, goodness, Barrier, Barrier Reef Blue. Um, yes. Uh, Blue Lagoon, Midnight Sky. Dear, oh dear, y'all. <laughs> um, let me just open them. We'll set them right in front of you and we can kind of go from there. How fun is this? If, if, if you have all of these, please, I hope you're doing this with me. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know that Blue Lagoon, I wouldn't, I personally, you can, if some of you can make Blue Lagoon look good with all of this, let me see it. I'd love to see it done, but it's just not in my my mind right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go, how many do I have here? Five. Okay, okay, that's okay. We can work with that. I didn't grab Blue Hawaiian though, but it's over here. Um, let's do this. What? My favorite, yes. Okay, do y'all see this lineup? They are uh, deep blue sea, pull side, <laughs> um, Pacific blue, barrier reef blue, and periwinkle. Purwinkle. Purwinkle. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, to um, call you out, but I just looked up and saw your name, so <laughs> thank you for joining. Um, I'm going to use this. And I wanted to use this so we can all see them side by side. See what we're working with. So we're going to start with Deep Blue Sea. If you live. 
live in Amarillo, you guys. Or if you feel like you need a vacation. May 8th, right before Mother's Day, um, there is a little event, um, vendor venue thing called Gals in the Garden that is going to go on all day long on the 8th, the day before Mother's Day. And it's just going to be a bunch of small businesses in Amarillo, the Amarillo area, coming together, um, putting on this one big, beautiful show. So, that is going to be really, really fun. I'm very excited to do that. I will be there ready to talk to everyone. Y'all know me. I'm sure my girls will be there too because they like to talk just like their mama. Sorry, I'm concentrating because I don't want to get the same, get them mixed because I don't have the activator on there yet so anything can stick. Now we will do Pacific Blue. Y'all are seeing this. This is just one coat. I hope this is helping. Um, I don't own any rights to the music. Should have said that in the beginning. YouTube is not happy with me. But I guess I could turn her down. Um, it's not often I get quiet, but the past couple videos when I did, they caught me. I was gonna get another swatch just so I don't contaminate the blues. As I get lighter. So, so far we've got, this is actually the three new blues. The Deep Blue Sea, Poolside, and Pacific Blue. You're so welcome, love. Thank you. I'm just glad you guys are on here wanting to see this and talking to me. I get, I was gonna say lonely. I'm not lonely by any means. I just get bored out here doing my thing all day in and day out, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure Hunter gets bored talking to me. <laughs> we gotta talk to everybody, not just ourselves. We need that adult interaction, you know? I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Um... So, my girls go to Accelerate Christian School here in Amarillo. Uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful Christian private school. They went to regionals this weekend with um, a ton of other schools. And yesterday during church, they announced like all the awards that we won. How many people got this and that. And... Oh, ooh, I think we're the third or fourth. I'm looking at Hunter like she knows. I'm, I always look sideways when I go to think deeply. My husband's always like, oh, that's a bad idea when I, when I go to think. But, um, a little beside the point. But I think it's the third row in a year that we've got the, um, the, now I'm not going to remember. Um, like the full on, like, Mm, dang it, y'all. I'll get back with you on that. I'm going in for the second coat, you guys. Anyways, we had, um, the, it was, it was, it's very heart feeling when, you know, our pastor said, you know, we had, we wanted better outcomes for the basketball team, um, our basketball boys did lose, but it was so cool to have it followed up by them saying that all the guys told the coach that they're sorry that their head wasn't into the game and winning that game. They were they were more they were excited and concentrating more on their. Um, they have a a a preaching um, category. And five, five of our students, our high school students, got an award for the best preaching out of, like, so many people. So, we were, like, top five. We had the top 
five people in there. So they, it was just so cool to see that we lost our basketball game. Yeah, that sucks. But it was due to them being so um, empowered and excited to do their preaching um, segment of regionals. So so cool and you guys you guys should hear these these little ones y'all it is it is it's absolutely amazing seeing what warriors we're like bringing up in into this world you know we if there's any time now if there's any time more than others when we need this guys it's now it's definitely now so um it's just a, it's a really, really cool thing they have going on. And then Ken, Kenzie's little, um, Kenzie's little, not little, I'm sorry, Miss Lisa. Kenzie's teacher um, has been gone. Uh, I think regionals was in Dallas. So Kenzie's teacher has been gone. And this morning driving to school, she said, I'm gonna I'm I, I'm gonna cry when I hug Miss Miller this morning, Mom, because I missed her so much. So I text Miss Miller and I said, Kenny said she's just gonna cry when she sees you, and she said, Well, I just I may just cry when I hug her too. And I said, Oh, we're all just gonna be crying. <laughs> Is anybody asking me questions? Hey, Stacy. Okay, making sure I'm up to date. You're all just listening to me. Nobody's saying anything. All right, I'm just doing the second coat of all these blues, doing like the gradient. These crown swatches are nice, you guys, um, when comparing colors, but you can't dip them. And so if you're wanting to use glitters, um, in your set to do that sometimes the chunkier glitters don't stick very well so it's kind of annoying um, and then they pop off really easily so that's another thing I don't like because then I'll get like a, a really cute crown I'm like loving it and then it then one disappears so it's kind of frustrating I used to say my favorite was barrier reef blue but that is a hard, a loaded question now. Let me put some activator on some of these so I don't mix them up. Woo! Um, I know on the last video, some of us were just hopping on, but is anybody interested in like a finer grit buffer? The reason I brought that up again was because my next question was, how many of us have tried water slides? Are we loving the stickers that I have or would we rather, or have has anybody tried the water slides? My last color is periwinkle. Now, see, now Hunter wants these blues. She just did the Mother's Day, like what? Last week, last, probably, probably Friday. <laughs> I think she did, actually. She said, I'm gonna clock out early and, and do, uh, do a set. It was Friday, wasn't it? Oh, now she wants the blues. And you didn't even use Peel Base. She'll just fall them off. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Um, hey, Jewel. Yes, you've been quiet. I just did water slides over risen white. And they turned out lovely. I have not tried your stickers yet. Um, St anybody other than Stacy used water slides? They're cool. They're really cute. Um, I have a couple issues. Most people would rather just stick a sticker on there. It's a lot faster. 
uh, than getting water, soaking it. So a water slide is like a, a temporary tattoo, essentially. Um, you just put it on your nail. Um, so they take, they're a little bit more to work with. Um, they're fun. Another thing is I would have to choose, hey, Leanna, um, I would have to choose some to go with, which, which are, which is easy. That's fine. Um, let me see if I actually, no, I don't think I have any right here. I'm just trying to think of where they are. I don't know where they are, but they come, they come in big sheets, you guys. And I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to ship it. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, it's not going to, it's not ship, like, it's just not going to fit in packages unless I cut them up and stuff. And then I don't want that to look bad. Um, so that's my holdback of the water slides. If you use a stamp or for nail stamping, it makes applications much easier. Okay. Oh. If you use a stamper from nail stamping, it makes application much easier. Stamp stamping to real. Okay. I've never thought about that. Kim just ordered some this morning. Baseball water slides. Tiffany. I've been looking and looking and looking for sport stickers, you guys, and have not come up with any yet. I've seen that in videos. I did did film it. You did film it? Yeah, share it with us, Stacy. We would love to see that. Got Stacy on here. Her um, Instagram is midnight.manny. She does amazing manis. So, um, watch and learn from her. She's amazing as well. Um, yeah, so back to the water slides. I just don't know how to get that big sheet. I mean, would it be offensive to cut it and put it in there for you guys? I don't want to fold it and I don't know. I don't know. Stickers just may be the way to go. Um, hey, Carolina. I'm using a stamper. Um, hey, Melissa. I, I need to just watch what y'all are talking about with the stamper. I mean, I know what the stamper is and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if you're talking about using the, using the tool that comes with the stampers to apply it. Leanne's writing. Leanne, Leanne is writing, so if she doesn't reply, that's why. She's, Leanne, guys, be praying for Leanne as she's uh, making a big move in her life this week. So we pray all goes smoothly and that everything gets there in one piece. I have moved so many times and I'm not, I'm never moving again. So um, I will die here in Amarillo. Uh, totally off subject. What do you prefer, dipping powder or acrylic? Uh, Margaret, are you asking just me? What colors am I wearing? Stacy wants to know what colors I'm wearing. I'm wearing coral is the the bright pink. Then I've got jade and jade with mermaid tails on top. But I don't have top coat or anything. I was gonna in that first video I was showing you guys. I have some crystals I was going to add with my step number two. A bunch of us were kind of wanting to see that. So, I was going to add that. Thanks, Tia. Um, yes, you pick up the image with... Okay, you pick up the image with your stamper. That's cool. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to be up till one o'clock tonight, Tay, looking at water slides. Dang it. Oh, let me skip. Oh, I just got coral. Who just got coral? Um, yes, just me. <laughs> just me. Do I like dipping powder or acrylic nails? Um, gonna be honest with you. So, dipping powder and acrylic nails, it's the exact same thing. It's just a different way of applying. Does that make sense? So, when you're using the dipping powder, um, it's the exact same thing that, that makes up the acrylic nails. You just are using different liquids to apply them. It's much easier to apply them versus using our monomer, the um, nail monomer that we have um, is what you use with, I'm just grabbing a brush, a brush 
um, you'll use the brush, dip it in there, and then dip it into the dipping powder. So essentially, it's all the same, all the same. It's just a different way to apply it. So using the monomer and the brush is more of like a uh, sculpting the nail. And um, I grew up doing um, the monomer, the acrylic nails. So I am much quicker at that. Um, that's what I'm used to. That's what I. That's just what I. I work well with. Um, but the dipping is definitely much easier, and you. Uh, if you apply the coats persistently, then you're going to get a very smooth outcome with it. So, um, it's just personal preference. But like I said, I grew up with. Um, using monomer and so that's just kind of what I run to um, hey Carly Bobby okay um, so I think I answered that question Jasmine's been playing around with monomer and I keep getting it lumpy um, that yeah that's with the monomer you guys you have to constantly keep your brush wet and wiped off so after after pretty much after everything every little motion you do with um, of course I picked the worst ugliest brush let's see um, here's one okay so say you're applying you like you constantly have to like dip and wipe it because because it will dry in the brush and yucky but um, and you have to work with it within a certain amount of time I think um, You've got to range somewhere around 60 to 90 seconds to get it where you want it before it is stuck. And then you have more filing to do if it's not what you want. So, um, it takes practice. It does. Um, I think I go to it too because I love the smell. It's just something smell good, you know? It's like the smell of leather, but it's... Gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, yes. Hunter's over here saying gasoline, but I will agree. <laughs> I do love the smell of gasoline. <laughs> yes, Carly, you have caught the live with the pretty blues. We did a gradient. Car Carly just asked me, or was over here a while, uh, like a week ago or so. We were picking out colors for the gradient of pinks. So here's your blues, love. I done lined it out for you. Um, anyways, guys, this is... Um, a blue lineup of Deep Blue Sea, Poolside, Pacific Blue, Barrier Reef Blue, and Periwinkle. So, uh, we've got some, some coastal colors, and then we're going to throw in a pretty flower with it. <laughs> Didn't think that one through, but that's okay. I know that was... Hunter's laughing at me. That was retarded. Um, the smell, too. Yeah. Anyways... I'm going to end this video, and then if you can hang around, hang around. I'm going to get back on and um, play with, like, Hollywood, Showstopper, Icicles, um, different things like that. So, thank you for watching. I will post a picture of these. I will, I'll put a top coat on these and post a picture so that you can like stare at these and see if you need all of them or one of them or which ones you don't have and stuff like that. So hang tight. Thank you for watching. If you cannot hop back on, catch this next live later. Always make sure your notifications are on. And um, Carly, I will discuss Deep Blue Sea with Midnight Sky on this coming up video. So you guys hang tight and um, we will see you soon. Yes, I will list the colors out for you, Margaret. Bye, you guys.